Hey guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel, the Regal Gentleman Studio. Today we've got Santiago in the chair, how are you? Very good, thanks, how are good, you? Good, I'm very well, thanks mate. So, what are we doing today mate, what's the plan? So my hair's been growing for about eight months now. Okay. And um, I always used to have it really kind of short back and sides. Yeah. Um, but as I was growing it out, I realised I've actually got some little curls at the back. And yeah, I was, I was kind of going with it, but I think it's time, it needs, it needs a bit of a clean up. Okay. And um, yeah, I was hoping to kind of keep the curls. And I've got a photo. If yeah, yeah, show me, yeah, up. yeah, yeah. I mean, I was thinking, I mean, I saw a photo like this, I thought, oh, okay. that's Timothy Chalamet, I think um, that would be quite nice, I mean, there's, there's another there, so I think if we could do this sort of thing, I was hoping to kind of keep the curls, maybe get a bit more texture in, you know? Yeah, I'll be honest, we can't create that look, mm. unfortunately, your hair's too straight, mm. um, both their hair is a lot thicker than yours, mm. with the curl, so where your curls are at the bottom here, that doesn't mean you've got curly hair, yeah. that's just where most people have curly hair at the bottom, so to create that, it would be very hard to try and create the curls everywhere. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because here, your hair is so straight and fine mm. that we wouldn't be able to get there. There's no way of getting curls in it unless we were to yeah. like create the curls more than cut the curls. Mm. Unfortunately, I hate to be the bearer of bad news because I know when you have your mind made up on something, it's hard. But um, these curls here, you can accentuate, mm. but I wouldn't really know what are you looking to try and do with the length? Where are you thinking of going with I mean, it? I'm thinking maybe a little shorter, but I like to still keep kind of mid length. Um, okay. So I, I don't know. I mean, there's kind of like long bits on the side. I was hoping to kind of clean that up a bit. Um, okay. But, but still kind of, yeah, keep it a little longer, mid length. Yeah. Mid length. That is mid length to me. Hmm. So what is mid length to you? Yeah, I think, I mean, definitely just the sides. Like the sides are getting quite long. I mean, it's been eight months of growth with this. Yeah. Here. Okay. So the sides are here. Hmm. They're the sides, mm. that's the top, okay? Yeah. So with the sides here, we separate that out. With the sides, how short do you want to do that? Because that is that would be classed as a medium length mm. haircut. So do you want to take more off that? What are you thinking? I mean, I'm thinking, yeah, a little, a little bit off this. Yeah. But then definitely getting some texture in. Because currently it's just sort of long hair. Yeah. And it's been growing for a long time. So I think getting some texture in. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, do you want it just sitting on the ear? Do you want it hanging just mid length over the ear? Do you want it to be cut around the ear? Do you want to leave it as it is now? and what, what do you mean by, by mid-length? Yeah. I'm sorry for all the questions, but I need to kind yeah, of yeah, get inside yeah. your mind a little bit, really. I mean, I think I, I just like to keep, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, the, the sort of mid-length hair, that, that's sort of where I'm at now. Yeah. I mean, I don't go to short hair, okay. which is, but, but I mean, I think a little bit shorter than what I've got now. Okay, okay. That, that yeah, yeah, that's fine, yeah, yeah. And how would you want to wear it? Are you wanting to wear it like the center so, part you've got so, now? Or? Yeah, what, what I tend to do is I, um, I use, Clay, so I've just yep. got hair clay and I sort of brush that through my hair. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and yeah, that's, I mean, it tends to just, yeah, I brush it like this, yeah. Brush that, okay. I think what we could do is if we were to take the neckline up a little bit here, mm. but leave length here, mm. you could get away with keeping more curl. Mm. I just think you'd need to keep more length here though. So if the curl is a, if the curl, is something that you like, because I always go back to the thing that you speak about first, because mm. that's what's in your mind. Because you come in with a picture of Timothy Chalamet, mm. so you want, I know your expectation was that, and obviously we can't do that. So I want to try and do something that we can try and still work with these curls that you've got, because you know I know you like them, right? And if you can keep them, you can keep them, right? So if we were to take the neckline up and cut it so it comes straight across, so essentially what that does, it leaves more length here, takes more length off the back, so it looks shorter, mm. but it's not here. And then with the sides, maybe a little bit off the sides to kind of just balance-ish. Um, and then texture-wise, I'm a little bit worried about doing too much texture in your hair though, because it is very, very fine. Mm. And texture, I, I wouldn't put a razor through your hair. So the only texture I'd probably do is the way the section pattern is. That's the only texture I would, a texture I would do, because any texture, you start to thin the hair out. Um, because it moves around very freely as it is now, mm. and it is a fine texture, it, it, it might make it look damaged. It could, it could make it feel very, very fine, mm. which I don't want to do. I want to make it feel thicker, if anything, you know what I mean? To get that thicker feel. Um, so that is what I'd probably do. But I think maybe on the top, if you were to, if you were to shorten your fringe a little bit mm. and you were to cut it in a way that you could wear it just back or, like, you know, kind of create a style of what you've got now. Um, so you could either wear it this way, down the centre, over to the left or you know any way you kind of want to wear it you you could do that but obviously with with the balance of the or, or, of like a, a hairstyle in a sense more than looking like it's it's grown out for eight to nine months yeah no, that's yeah so that's all right cool man all right what we'll do we'll get you gowned up and 
Yeah, I'll start, I'll start the back and sides first. All right, buddy? All right. So guys, I'm gonna start with a horseshoe section on the back and sides, because what I wanna do is I wanna create the shape that we're trying to achieve on the back and sides. And again, we wanna, we wanna add the texture to Santiago's hair that is gonna allow him to kind of hopefully scrunch it a little bit. I'm hoping I can get a little bit of scrunch if we use the, th uh, the label men um, thickening lotion or thickening tonic, sorry. I think, I don't know, I hope so. I'm hoping we can. In the, in this, in the way I'm gonna texturize it, I wanna try and cut the little bit short so that hopefully they, they will curl a little bit easier. So we can try and have a few options that we can do with this, but essentially just kind of making it look like a hairstyle for him that he's been growing out. That's the main thing today. But everything else is a bonus. If I can create some sort of curl or structure to it, I create it, a, you know, a bit of a, a bit of a Timothy look in a way. That'd be quite nice if we can. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's start on this side. Keep on left hand bottom. Like so. If there's movement now, I'm going to take it all the way down to the bottom because I want to move the length through the middle. Right, work around to the left hand side now. Same thing, following the same guide, and just work into the same shape because what we're trying to create is one second, what we're trying to create is a sort of cut within something that's grown out. So again, we're taking some length off, but we really want to keep a bit of length. We want to keep some of the curl going on there. And just by taking this section and these patterns that we're doing with the sections, we'll create our own texture. Now, I don't want to uh, start using, you know, sort of, uh, you know, heavy texturizing techniques because I just don't know whether the hair will stand up to it. I think it might, might just fray a little bit. So I think by doing these, um, Texturizing techniques, I think, uh, as in like the section patterns, I think it'll work much better. And as you can see, we get movement in this. See, look at that. Creating movement in there now. It's no Timothy, but it's not far off, mate. I'll tell you. It is not far off. Yeah, you're with it, mate. Hey, mate, I'll tell you. Everyone keeps talk, calling me that. Like, I, don't, I, don't, um, I wouldn't say it's wizardry, I'd just say it's, it's luck <laughs> half the time. Luck and education, that's all it is.
Right, so, tied up the side bends for them. And now what we'll do is we will work on the left-hand side in terms of length and just try and keep some length through the bottom here so it all balances with the back too. Just take them dry ends off. Like so. Right, way through the top now and then we'll dry it off and then we'll see the length like once it's all dry. I'm going to dry clay into your hair today so more than when you said earlier on you put the clay through when it's dry or is it when it's damp? When it's damp. When it's damp, good, good. Okay, cool. Well, I just want to show you a little, a little uh, trick actually mm. to get the best out of the clay. So um, whatever clay it is you're using, I'll, uh, I'll give you a little tip. It's really, really cool. Works really well too. So let's take this down now. Up here. I'll take one section just off centre to the left. I don't want to encourage a centre part. Or if I knock it into a centre part, it allows it to move different ways. Take a section up and we'll cut it shorter through the top, just like that. Just so we can get a little bit of movement through the top as well. Right, let me just draw this off a minute so it's not see what it looks like. So a little bit of clay. This is Hans de Foucault, I don't know if you've ever used this before, but it's a nice clay. I've got it in mind now and I've had this in my hair since about 10 o'clock this morning. And the hole's still there. So work it through. Right through your fingers. And then scrunch it into your hair like this. Now just tend to blow dry your hair. Uh, no, I don't. No. Well, I want to show you what you can achieve if you do, okay? Just by keeping some length and just adding that shape and that texture to it, okay? So, high heat and a medium speed and a diffuser. What you do, you just twist together between your finger and thumb.
what you do is you dry in the clay into your hair so you'll still have clay in your hair it'll just dry in this type of setting all right so you're left with a more messier textured kind of finish a bit like some of the photos you showed me at the start Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. I did not in a million years think that would happen, if I'm honest. Yeah. I think it's well, probably more Shawn Mendes in a sense, though, I think. Yeah. What, what did you think was kind of going to happen? Though? Well, I was just, I, all I was doing was, was cutting a bit of short texture in there, just to, just to make it easy for you to style, basically. That's what I was doing. But then when I cut that right hand, this right hand section, and I kind of, well, no, it was actually the back here, it was. I kind of just run my fingers through it and kind of grabbed it like this. And it, it moved around in like a bit, a bit of bender. I thought, okay, put a diffuser on that and you can probably do something with it. So yeah, so I put the clay in, let this dry a bit more naturally first because that will keep the hold in. Okay, so that will stay off mm. your face and it'll just tangle down. And then the rest is just dried in for you, like so. Yeah. You've got a nice shape. Probably more Shawn Mendes than Timothy, but I mean, either I'm, way, mate. I'm I, I was gonna say, mate, I know. If you could pick one, it wouldn't really matter, would it? Yeah. So, you know, there we go, mate. No, really, really best deck I've had. Oh, thanks very much, man. That's very kind. Amazing. Thank you, mate. Cheers.